Hey everyone, welcome to The Monthly Review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is Tipping Points, the secret signposts of language progress and success. Since you're learning a language, then you probably already know that it's hard to know if you're making progress. And unlike working out, it's not like you can look in the mirror and see your language results either. But the good news is there is a way to know if you're on the right track and if you're going to succeed. How? With something called tipping points. And today you'll learn, one, why tipping points are crucial for confidence and language success, and two, how to tell when you're reaching a tipping point. But first, if you're looking for new free language resources and downloads, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Visiting a Friend's Home Conversation Cheat Sheet. With this brand new cheat sheet, you'll be able to talk about someone's home, plus pick up home-related phrases like kitchen, living room, and more. Second, the All the Language You Need for Everyday Life Cheat Sheet Bundle. Get all of our best conversation cheat sheets rolled up into one with this gift. Download it right now before it disappears. Third, 20 must-know hygiene words. If you're learning a language but don't know how to say toilet paper, soap, or toothpaste, then you need this one-minute vocabulary lesson. Fourth, vocabulary for receiving packages. Learn how to say package, delivery, redelivery, and much more with this quick vocab bonus. Fifth, 10 phrases you never want to hear. With this fun phrase lesson, you'll learn to say, I told you so, you've gained weight, and other fun phrases. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. Tipping points, the secret signposts of language progress and success. Part one why tipping points are crucial for confidence and language success. So, what's a tipping point? First, imagine you've started learning a language and the routine you're sticking with is you want to learn for 10 minutes a day at home in the evenings. Some days you do it and some days you don't, but you're trying to stick with it. After a few weeks, you start to naturally jump into the language without a second thought. It's now the thing you do on weeknights, even Friday evenings and that's when you've hit a tipping point. A tipping point is a small victory within your language learning. It lets you know that you're on the right track and you're going to make it. So if you've reached a point where your language learning takes priority over other things you could do instead, that's a tipping point. Now, if you're wondering how exactly that's a victory, here's an example. If you've ever been to a gym on a Friday night, you know some of the most fit people you'll ever see are there on Friday night. And if you think about it, there are a million and one ways to spend your Friday night, right? You could be watching Netflix or YouTube, hanging out with friends, or playing games. So if you made a choice in favor of your goals over everything else, if instead of playing a game on your smartphone, you use our innovative language learning app to learn a language, then that's a good sign. That means something inside you has changed for the better. Basically, when your free time shifts from usual routines, like watching TV, towards the goals you really want, like mastering a language, you've hit a tipping point. And these tipping points are crucial for your confidence and overall language learning. It's evidence that you're on the right track and you're going to make it. How is it evidence? The answer is simple. You only get good at the things you put your time into. So once you start choosing to pursue your goals in your free time, that's a good sign because those hours, those minutes, those seconds are starting to add up. It may not feel like it at the moment, but you will get better eventually. The only problem is tipping points are hard to notice. That's why they're called the secret signpost to success. So how can you tell if you're reaching a tipping point? Part two, how you can tell when you're reaching a tipping point. Imagine this. You're learning a language in your free time. You have a small goal set. Now, within your daily routines, you start making certain choices. Between watching Netflix and mastering a language, you start putting more time into language. 
Last week, you started with 10 minutes of learning and 50 minutes of TV. Then it grows, 20 minutes on language, 40 on TV, and then 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and soon it overtakes your typical routines. And that's exactly how tipping points happen. So take a look at how much time you spend on a language. Take a look at your recent choices of activities. If you're choosing a language workbook over a typical book, if you're learning a language in the evenings on a Friday night instead of watching Netflix, that's how you know you've reached a tipping point. This is something you won't notice immediately. But when you find yourself choosing language over something else, that's a sign you're going to make it. Now, can you actually try and actively reach these tipping points? Definitely. It's just a matter of putting in more time. Again, if you're learning a language for 10 minutes a day, bump yourself up to 11 or 12 minutes a day and keep going. Simply adjust your routine and add more time. We often ask you to set small, measurable goals with a deadline every month. So always aim a little higher with your next goal and you'll start hitting those tipping points. And let us know, have you hit any tipping points lately? Leave us a comment. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time we'll talk about how to read the fast, fun, and easy way with extensive reading books. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye.